uh, yeah, <clears throat> this was an example of using the volume knob on a pretty standard uh, left-handed instrument. And guess what? That was what you call the right-handed uh, volume knob which in my opinion and in opinion many other people who actually use the knob is uh, the normal <laughs> the normal volume knob which goes clockwise and it increases uh, which is totally usable it just used the opposite direction which is fine because you don't turn up your radio anti-clockwise. You don't turn up your heat oven anti-clockwise. Hell, you don't even open the door in your uh, hotel room anti-clockwise. Why would you expect uh, a guitar to be different? Uh, there is uh, a so-called reverse taper volume and tone part uh, but if you use that you're forcing yourself into some sort of uh, limitations which I'm gonna explain in a second but just as I uh, show you the the volume knob when it's uh, <clears throat> from a regular instrument as in a right-handed guitar works perfectly fine if you uh, adapt to that. In fact, there's nothing to adapt to if you if you can't use either <laughs> You don't care and you know It, it just works the same way in in the <clears throat> the pros of that uh, as opposed to cons Which I, I can't think of any actually instead of The pros of that is on a right-handed guitar let me show that in a second because I have one nearby. So this is the right-handed guitar with the regular same parts. I use the same parts in all instruments. So on that, uh, you also turn up clockwise, but because your picture is mirrored, you're sort of uh, doing the the opposite mirror so you move your finger up instead of moving the finger down to increase volume and obviously it's all it all matters only on fender and fender type instruments where the volume part is near uh, your playing area because otherwise you really don't care on Gibsons because you cannot use this effect normally uh, because the, the the knobs are just way too far from the instrument. Uh, why I think uh, right-handed parts on a left-hand guitar are better because uh, simply because the mo movement up, uh, <clears throat> the movement of the of the wrist up, um, alters the way you uh, your picking hand um, does it. does the movement. Because you have to pick the note, and then and then your fingers are already in a different place simply because the the distance the the the, uh, the hand is followed <clears throat> uh, moved the fingers in a different place into into a different position. On a left-handed guitar with a movement that's uh, reversed. You don't have that problem. In fact, your your fingers are even in a better position for picking. So you start with like uh, I'm gonna get in a second <clears throat> why you're limiting yourself. But with the parts I use, I only have to turn up, turn down uh, like forty percent, like this, <clears throat> and. Uh, forty percent means uh, your finger, if you position it from from the tip, the only distance the only distance it follows is this, and uh, it's one movement from the from the picking 
I don't have to move my hand. It's one movement, the movement of picking down and the wrist and the finger that follows on the volume knob is moving down as well. So this is very handy as opposed to right-handed guitar or a left-handed pot where you would have to uh, pick and then move up, which really makes a lot of discomfort. The downward movement is just much better. It's just better, that's all. And <clears throat> the joys of life that you're uh, limiting yourself from um, are this. This is what you uh, usually get in a run-of-the-mill standard instrument like this CTS part or whatever is called quality in quotation marks there's, there's a very very junky parts uh, I don't use them ever like ever 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 CTS parts are third grade but that's the best you can get left-handed uh, there are some actual premium parts like this as you can see it's sealed in carbon fiber and inside it there is oil that the movement uh, that allows the movement to be so smooth and the uh, log curve logarithmic curve that it gives is just no match for for the CTS it's just uh, th there's a world of difference this is called Born's Premium 95 these are like 30 bucks one each <laughs> So that gives you an idea how much more advanced the technology is. And trust me, the, the difference uh, that you get from playing these is just immense. Uh, they also think of a lot of uh, small things like uh, the, the way the shaft moves is really smooth on, on the log uh, logarithmic volume parts and on the tone parts. The, the movement is really hard so my tone pot is really hard to turn which is so cool because I don't want to accidentally change the setting on my tone pot and speaking of the tone pot this is called a born snow load I know that uh, uh, CTS also has a no load pot and what what that means is that uh, there's a notch over here and as you move uh, the shaft clockwise there's a small click in the end. That means the pot in this position is uh, bypassed. So your tone knob is completely out of the circuit on 10, which is a very, very cool option to have in gu guitars. And of course you don't get this reversed because you cannot reverse this. Something that has a 100% fixed as a bypass switch. Of course, you can only get these right-handed. So my uh, message to the world with this video is just get a life and learn how to use these those nice and extremely quality components that you have on the market and stop whining and that's it. Yeah.